now sleep, child of mine, while the stars shine above. I love you as much as a mother can love. And I like her because she's gentle and she's she's uh, comfortable with kids. I like how she actually listens to you and she, like I said, doesn't get you frustrated because she can't like say to you, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, start over, you can't do it. She would be there and you know she would be listening to you and she loves you. I like that because when you said something wrong or you pronounced something wrong, she didn't say you're not, you're saying that wrong. Does reading to a dog seem funny to you? Well, a little bit, but if you think about it, like, they're just there to help you get comfortable reading. Would you like for us to come back someday to read? Yes, that would be fun. A number of years ago, I was working at a school as principal, and we had a couple of students with autism. And having brought my own son to uh, pause to read at the library, I knew about the program, so I did reach out and found out um, who could come visit the school, and it made a tremendous difference for the children that needed that support. A lot of other kids did get to see the dogs at a time, but in the meantime, those students that really need that therapy were able to benefit from it. That's a good girl, eh? Well, the benefit of having a therapeutic dog in the classroom is that um, students get to read with um, a friend that doesn't judge them at all. They really enjoy the company of the dog. Um, she's not correcting them like Miss LeBlanc might do, and they're not stressed over it. So it's a really peaceful way. I like to have a lot of peace in my classroom. The dog uh, provides that calming effect. Um, it provides somebody that the children can read to and love, and sometimes that's just what they need is a little bit of love in their day. Aren't you a sweet little thing? Huh? Aren't you a sweet little thing? Oh, that's just my village. Oh, you're a nice little. Oh, you're a nice little girl. You're a nice little girl. A little rub here, a little rub over there. Oh my my, that's good, Hershey. Speaks good dog language, doesn't he? Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a nice. Oh yes. Awesome. High five me. My goodness, you did a good job. Thank you. You want to say thank you to Hershey first? Thank you, Hershey. You want to give her a hug? But she likes it. <gasps> <laughs> my dog ate my homework. Did you ever eat homework before? Did you ever eat homework before? <laughs> I love you, Mom. That one's my favorite. High five, buddy. Thank you very much. I Thanks. appreciate that. Hershey's such a nice dog. Oh, thank you. Hi, Chris. Gentle. Nice. Oh, what a nice boy. Good job. <laughs> a book. He was smiling. Oh, they taste now good. Now we eat, yeah. <laughs> they taste good, yeah. <laughs> One, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. Shut the door. I know this one. Five, six. six. Pick up sticks. Pick up sticks. Stick seven, eight. Seven, eight, eight nine, Lay them straight. Nine, ten. <laughs> Big fat hen. She said fat. Yeah, that's okay. We say round, but that's okay. That's okay. She didn't know. She didn't know. <laughs> high, high five from all of you. High five! There's all together high fives. Yes! <laughs>